Hello everyone, it's John, back with another YouTube video where I'm going to be testing out some products. Um, I have been talking about one of these products for a little bit. Uh, I've been frustrated that uh, the difficulty of getting it, um, this was something that I had almost uh, chalked up to not going to happen. But... Uh, luckily, there was some people on eBay that weren't just trying to cash out on something and accepted a reasonable gift of money for something they didn't pay for. Anyway, let's find out what that is. And actually, there's two of them. Because Pepsi did this twice. Here we have Pepsi Apple Pie. That's right. I finally got my hand on a Pepsi apple pie. This says not for retail sale, but I didn't get it at any retail store. I got it at eBay. And because it's not for retail, I don't think it has like a best buy date or a sell by date anywhere on here. Uh, but I know these came out around Christmas time, so it's not extremely old, but it's probably not the freshest. And you got that from posting a apple pie fail, I think, on Twitter and, and tagging them. And then they send you a box, a little piece of paper. I don't know if this Don Jagoda Associates is like the company Pepsi hired to do this. Uh, it was just like, uh, thanks for sharing your baking fail, Pepsi contest services. And, uh... Only 2,500 of, the, of these were sent out. Um, I saw a few people do the reviews of them online, and a lot of people really liked them. So I was hoping to finally get to try it, and I'm going to be able to try that today. Uh, Pepsi did another one where they were going to give away this. Pepsi Hot Chocolate. This one is a little bit more recent. It's also not for resale. Uh, so it also doesn't have a sell-by date on it. It just has not for resale on it. Uh, they do have nutritional facts on them, which is interesting. Uh, maybe because at some point this may be uh, for retail sale. I don't know the rules. Like, for what's, what's the FDA rules? Like, uh, if you're going to give something away for free, it still needs to have on it. I don't know. But anyway, this one was you were supposed to... I was like, National Hot Chocolate Day... And you're supposed to tweet out a photo of yourself drinking hot cho chocolate. Uh, when I saw it, I immediately ran to the kitchen, got my ingredients out, took the time to make a good cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows on it, and I tweeted it out with the picture. The apple pie one I didn't do because I don't make apple pies. My wife makes apple pies, and none of the apple pies my wife makes will ever be called a fail. I will fight you on that one. But I made a really good cup of hot cocoa. I made sure the picture showed like marshmallows. So like you could tell like this was actually hot cocoa that I'm drinking here. I'm not trying to fool anyone. And I know some of those people who actually did that. They fooled Pepsi. They just had a, a coffee mug to their face and said, mmm, hot cocoa. I know who you are, people. But they, this one gave you a little card, actually. It says, Hi, Pepsi fan. Thank you for your love on National Hot Chocolate Day. So they actually put like a little bit more effort into the Pepsi, the hot cocoa one. This one, I, you got two cans. I got another can, but I'm not going to drink two cans or open two cans for this. But that's that. Um, I wonder if there is going to be a marshmallow flavor to that as well. Um, with most sodas, you can't really tell by the ingredients what it should taste like. Uh, they do mention on the apple pie one that it contains 0% juice. Just in case you're wondering. Anyway, let's go ahead and try some of this out. I have a cup, so I'm not drinking directly out. I'm a two liter. Mmm, apple hiss. It also tells me that whoever sold it didn't ever try to open it or tamper with it. Because the seal was good and the hiss was fresh. 
and I'm getting plenty of effervescence out of this. Thank you, eBay seller, for accepting a reasonable amount of free money for this. It does smell fruitier than regular Pepsi. There is an apple flavor to that. It's not like that candy apple flavor, like um, Jolly Ranchers and other uh, mm. Jolly Ranchers and other things will have like a a green apple flavor to it. Mm. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Had to answer the door. But back to Pepsi. The apple pie Pepsi. It doesn't taste like a like green candy apple. It tastes like red apple. Um, and kind of like that more deep red apple flavor. Like if you had the flavor of a red delicious apple, but not the disgusting mealiness of a red delicious apple. Or maybe aroma. I think it's more like aroma. I like it. Um, I think if it came out in like 20 ounce bottles, that's where you get the most selling of it. Put them in the 20 ounce bottles, you put them in that little rack that's next to the checkout. People are going to see that and be like, hmm, Apple Pepsi. Definitely want to try that. Anyway, moving on. Hot chocolate Pepsi. Um, the funny thing about this was when a version came out, I, I kept seeing it referred to as Cocoa Cola. I just thought that's just a pleasant uh, play on words and, and to point fingers at Coca Cola. Definitely a chocolatey smell. I'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of marshmallow -y flavor to it, because there's a picture of marshmallow on the can. This one's not as good as the apple pie Pepsi. There is like a chocolatey flavor to that. It's like a generic chocolate. It doesn't taste like hot cocoa. I don't taste any like vanilla-y sugary marshmallow kind of flavor to it. Uh, it's just more one note. This is what it tastes like. If you unwrapped like a handful of Tootsie Rolls and threw them into a two liter of regular Pepsi, let that sit overnight. This is what it would taste like. This is Tootsie Roll Pepsi. It's not hot cocoa Pepsi. It's Tootsie Roll Pepsi. It's got a very bland, one-note chocolate. It's not even like the best chocolate. In fact, I consider Tootsie Rolls to be the worst chocolate. I don't consider Tootsie Rolls to really be chocolate at all. I don't like Tootsie Rolls. But that's what this tastes like. Anyway, I always think the best thing to do when I'm tasting two things. Also, I don't know if you can tell, the apple pie one is a little bit redder, a little bit clearer. The cocoa one's a little bit darker. Not much, but I noticed it. Let's mix them together.
it's not terrible. The apple flavor actually makes this pretty good. And I was worried because there was a little less apple than there was the cocoa when I mixed them. It wasn't a one to one ratio. When you mix the cocoa with apple, it tastes good. Not good enough though. So, apple, Pepsi. So Pepsi, here's the Fat Hipster's opinion of these two products. And you're going to be glad that I've got these on my hands and let you know. Apple Pie Pepsi, that's a thumbs up. Put it in 20 ounce bottles, sell it. You're going to get your money back out of that investment. And more. The Hot Cocoa Pepsi, that's going to be a thumbs down. You might get some people to try it, but uh, just the curious bunch isn't going to be enough for this to make money. Um, the people who taste it are going to not have spectacular reviews of it. You're not going to get any growth, and it's going to be a flop. But keep up with Apple Pie Pepsi, and next time you have some giveaway or some new flavor that you're only giving to some people, send one to me. That's the end of my complaint there. Um, and also, get that Pepsi Cafe out in the market. It's going to come up on two years since you tweeted out that it was coming. And it's just an embarrassment to your company to have all those tweets out there even though you tried to delete them and scrub them, people took pictures of them and people hashtagged them. It's out there. You're never going to scrub it clean. It's always going to be the shame of Pepsi that they announced two years ago something was coming out and it never came out. It's kind of like uh, all those video games and movies that gets delayed. People are going to be angry about it. So that's my advice to you, Pepsi. The, pe the Apple Pie Pepsi, sell it. The Cocoa Pepsi, don't sell it and get the Pepsi Cafe flavors out there on the market soon. Soon, please. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, thumbs up, whatever you want to call it, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And until next time, au revoir. Bleh.